All right, here we are with the uh, Collings Foundation's F-100F. As you can tell by now, we love this airplane. And uh, we just flew it a few days ago for the first time in a few years, and um, we cleaned it yesterday. She's looking really good. I did a short yesterday talking about the drag chute and how it works and uh, a few limitations on it. It's hard to fit everything into, you know, 59 seconds, as you uh, can imagine. So wanted to do a horizontal video here and just um, relax a little bit and tell you a little bit more about it. Not going to be a very long video, but just a little bit more than I can fit into a short. So come up the stairs with me. All right, so here we are in the front cockpit of the F-100F here. And as you can see on the upper left side of the instrument panel, we have the drag chute um, lever. It's basically a T-handle that you would pull. And then after you pull to deploy it, you would rotate it 90 degrees to jettison it. So let's talk about that a little bit. After you land, and the uh, drag chute has a 180 knot speed restriction on it which means that over 180 knots the book says don't pull that because you might damage the chute it might just rip apart it might rip out um, it's just not approved above 100 above 180 knots so what we do with this one is we just bring that down about 20 knots and we say okay well we're not going to pull it above 160 knots so when you do pull the drag chute in the f100 so now you've landed you are slowing down you're decelerating on the runway through 160 knots down here you reach up underhanded in the F-100 and you pull the drag chute. The reason that you do this underhanded in the F-100 is like I said earlier, if you were to pull it with your hand this way, which is the more natural way to reach up and grab it, then as you pull towards you, you have a tendency to turn your wrist. So like I said earlier, if you pull that and turn it, you're just going to blow the chute out and then jettison it. It's gonna detach from the aircraft. So F-100 pilots are taught to reach underhanded, pull it, and then you use your drag chute to slow yourself down. You definitely can feel yourself slowing down. Um, it's, it's very obvious that the drag chute has come out. And then once you clear the runway or taxi in or whenever it is that you decide to jettison it, then you would reach up and rotate the handle sideways and just give it a little bit more of a pull. And that will actually jettison the chute from the aircraft. So that's how the drag chute on the F-100 works from the cockpit. Let's go back to the tail. All right, so here we are at the back end of the F-100 here, as you can see, the exhaust exits right out here. And right underneath the fuselage, you have this little, um, two little trap door looking things right here. So just like you saw up in the cockpit, when you pull that drag chute T-handle to deploy it, this will actually open. Both of these doors will pop out. A bag will come out that encases the uh, parachute. And as you follow these little turkey feather looking things around, you'll see underneath it is actually a cable. You can kind of see the cable there. All right, so that actually is where the drag chute's attached to the fuselage, and that will deploy and slow the aircraft down right there from this really strong point right underneath the rudder and right above the exhaust there. So as that deploys, it slows you down. Again, like we said earlier, 180 knots maximum according to the book, we use 160. We got a nice uh, relatively long runway here. We also have a departure and barrier cable that we could catch, you know, and we always have them put it up. So it's a very safe place relatively to operate this aircraft. So there's no reason for us to pull the chute at right at 180 knots when we can slow it down a little bit, be a little bit more gentle on the aircraft, take care of the components. And uh, that's what we do. That's how we operate it. If y'all have any questions on this thing, let me know. Um, I've had a few people ask about the drag chute since they actually saw all the pictures and the videos of us uh, flying it. Um, it was like three days ago that we flew it. So had a lot of questions on the drag chute. So I figured I would make a little video about it. So um, let me know. Thanks for watching.